This is going to be good. Paddy, we're going to get the real inside track on Paddy O'Donnell. Hey, I agreed to do the interview. I didn't agree to tell you about me. Come on now. I can tell you gossip about me. Where, what's, where do you come from? Tremor. Okay. Side to sea. Right. How'd you get involved in show jumping? Uh, kind of started off. My family were involved in horses and general progression, really. Um, I wanted to go to college and then I got sick and I kind of got a job in horses and Princess was my first horse and they kind of figured out from there, really kind of got going. Okay. And what's the first memory of being involved in show jumping? Being involved in show jumping. I suppose really, uh, I remember watching Salt Hill. That was a big deal back then. Watch, and Francis Connors was local to me at home and riding Spring Elegance. That's kind of the first thing. I remember my first double clear. I remember falling off a lot too and going to hospital and all that kind of crack. And mm. Yeah, thinking I was going to die. I didn't. You didn't. You're still alive. And what age are you now? 26. Just don't ask me that question. 26. Gee, I'm getting old. Do you have a girlfriend? Not at the minute. Why are you busy? <laughs> <laughs> no, not at the minute. Not at no. the minute. No. I'm a single Pringle. All right, excellent. Yeah. Focused on the career. Hmm. Have you a boy, a girlfriend? I was going to ask you for a girlfriend. That'd be a really wrong task on this, wouldn't it? Oh, well, a lady never tells. It's a thing. Mm -hmm. And Paddy, will you stay in Ireland? Will you always be? It's it's difficult based in Ireland as a show jumper and a lot of guys your age have gone to America. Are you going to stay put or? Yeah, I worked in America when two or four or five years ago now and I was there on holidays this year in Florida but like the lifestyle over there is great and the rewards are great but it wouldn't be really for me because there's no, for me the problem I had with it was there's no life outside of horses. Do you know like yeah. okay there's a lot of Irish there and everybody was very close and everybody supported each other but there was no life away from it. You know, you went from one show to the next with the same people. So there's never a chance to do anything else. Or there's no, For me, there was no life aside of it. You, you would say people didn't have friends. I know I don't mean to judge anybody, but you didn't have friends outside of horses, really. That was my yeah. thing. If, uh, it's intense in America. It's very intense. And like for me, like I heard there recently I had an interview with Eric Lamaze there six or eight months ago where he said he needed downtime away from the sport. And for me, that's like Keane made a very good point last year the show jumpers ball where he says there are dark days and everybody in the sport has it and I think that when you're in a sport everything is very intense so you need time to you need to be interested in other things you need to have a healthy mind you need to have other interests that's my thinking here I know how to shrink and so what do you do then to when you when you take a break from show jumping what do you like to do outside of it for me I'm interested in cars that's a big that was an interest for me and actually interested in current affairs and all that kind of meddling for me I love reading the paper on Sunday and that's my like whatever way the so show goes when I go home tonight I'll read the paper that's what I do mm. you know you need to you need to you need to be interested in other things so if you weren't a show jumper you'd be a grand prix formula 1 driver I love to race cars yeah yeah, not a, a crash and not not wealthy enough. It doesn't work like that. Do you drive a fast car now? Reasonably fast, yeah. Yeah, reasonably fast. But not as much fun as a fast horse that wins Grand Prix. Well, it's funny. I went to Mandela two years ago. I was at a show and uh, um, the Grand Prix was in Kylo in the winter. And I went to Mandela for the day. And I was watching the car. I was in the car and the car was new, new. And I was in it. And it was a great thrill for five for five minutes. It was a wonderful thrill to be involved in the car. And I was sitting there going, "Who's winning the Grand Prix today? <laughs> Who's winning the Grand Prix today?" So. You can't tear yourself away from it completely. Yeah, I'm lucky, I love what I do, and I've been very lucky like that. Well, I'm sure you have a very long career ahead of you. Thanks, Thanks for having a chat with us. No problem, anytime. <laughs>